dreamers welcome to my channel if you're new here welcome my name is royce i'm a painter sculptor and a collector today is going to be all about restoration behind me you will see some alice in wonderland statues i got these gifted to me back in i think it was 2009 2010 as a christmas present and even at that time these statues the entire set was around i think like 450 dollars that's a lot for you know anything and now Alice by herself can be at least 800 plus so it's just insane to see how much these statues have gone up in value I think that their rarity is becoming more and more because even the ones that are for sale are all broke or faded I do believe that these were intentionally sold as garden statues I have found an old flyer from the Disney Store catalog rest in peace Disney Store and they were outside so I'm sure people put them outside and anything outside of course is going to get faded or aged or broken so these were never exposed to the elements I bought them pretty much brand new unfortunately they have become a little chipped or broke throughout the years even in my care so it's time to restore these guys i am so excited to give them all a refresh as you'll see dinah is the only one left in her natural form all of them came in this really weird funky green brown gray color and i just wasn't a fan of that and i really wanted to bring these characters to life because alice wonderland is incredibly colorful so why not celebrate that so join me because we're going to be restoring these alice in wonderland statue sets i'm going to be using a lot of different materials and i will explain it all along the way so let's get started <music> So we're gonna start off with the Cheshire Cat. He is the one that is in most need of a repair. His tail actually got broken completely off a few years ago. So I'm going to use some two-part putty. I use Free Foam Air um, Epoxy Dough. And this is from our great friends over at Smooth On. And this stuff is amazing. So like I said, it's a two-part putty. You get equal both amounts of A and B and you rub them together and they dry like a rock and it is sandable so i'm going to start off with the treasure cat's tail and then i'm going to also do the same to the mad hatter's hand because his wrist is broke off from his elbow and i did hot glue it back in the day like a really quick fix but i really want it to look brand new so let's do this right <laughs>
Oh, 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 oh,